We're checking out 25 best CDH weeks for iOS 10. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and check them out. Kicking off the list with unlock sound which brings the sound when you unlock your device. So you can see here, if I unlock my device you can hear the sound, the old sound of the device when you unlock it. And you can see here, I'm gonna do it again. And you can even customize the, the sound within settings of the tweak here. So you can see here you have the default unlock sound and you have here a bunch of other sounds that you can choose from. So I'm going to choose Tink, this one right here for example. You can hear the Tink sound, the chalk sound here. And yeah, you can choose whatever you want here. Here in the home screen we have Icon Arch which changes the music app icon to the artwork of the music that you currently listen to. So you can see here, this is the artwork of the song that I listen to. And you can also notice fading animation between songs. In the folder we have a CDH we called full folder 9 which display the folder in full screen as you can see here. So you can see here that uh, the dots of the pages are hidden is because of a we called shy page dots which hides the pages when you are on a, on a page in the springboard and if you go to the next page the, the dots will be displayed as you can see. Power tap adds more options to the power off option. So you can see here, if I tap on the power off button or icon here, you can switch between reboot option, respring option, or safe mode options. Here in the switcher, we have a tweak called Switcher Tweak Pro, which changes the direction of the app cards. As you can see here, I have them down when I scroll, as you can see and you can kill applications by swiping to the left as you can see like this and you can change the direction to anywhere you want from the settings of the tweak next we have snapper tool which allows you to crop screenshots when you take it so you can see here if i go to the notes app for example copy or want to type this text in another place all you have to do is take screenshot and choose the part that you wanna crop this one right here and double tap on the image and it will be cropped as you can see and you can also here you can choose to delete the, the screenshot you can save it to your photos app or you can share it to the social media as you can see here you can see here in the settings I have applications categorized in each section so you can see here the system apps iCloud iTunes and other stock apps are in one category social networking apps as well Facebook Twitter and tweak section as you can see in one place in the app store apps so because of a tweak preference organizer too which allows you to organize the apps within the settings and here also in the settings you can see that I don't have the search bar and it was hidden by a tweak called hide setting search edge is a quick launch tweak that allows you to open an application quickly or perform an action so you can see here if i swipe to the right from the left you can see here we have an application that you can open quickly from here you can switch between apps just like that go to the settings again or you can perform or you can switch to the next page which you can add your favorite applications that you want to quickly access to here you can have task where you can perform a selfie or you can go to the search bar in the app store record in slow motion take a quick photo or open a new tab and here you can add a person which supposedly for the contact app here we have swipe shift carriage which allows you to swipe the cursor around the text to quickly edit it move it up or down anywhere you want between the text and in the keyboard here you can see that i have an additional row of numbers and it's because of a we called x key which adds an additional row to the keyboard and in the space bar here if i tap and hold on it you can see I have Unicode faces which you can get from a tweak called Unicode faces. You can use them in text messages, 
or anywhere you want. Next we have keyboard Axio which allows you to switch between the first two keyboards. So, so you can see here my first two keyboards are emoji and in the English keyboard. So, so if I tap on the globe icon, I will switch only between the emoji keyboard and the main keyboard which is the English. And if you want to switch the other keyboard, you have to do it manually, which means you can choose by yourself to move to the next keyboard. Quick do is a CDH week that has a bunch of options from having the the touch ID as the home button as you can see and also to use gestures to close your applications so here for example if I swipe up from the right side of the screen you can close application and also you have an additional control center so if I swipe up from the left side of the screen you will get this control center where you can have your where you can have toggles as you can see Wi-Fi location toggle and here you can see the information about your device from Wi-Fi and the active or inactive space or the capacity on your device and here at the bottom you will have a quick launch to access your applications and you can see here cards with the apps styled as OXO and here you can see a lock icon to lock your device go to the home screen or kill all the applications in the background and here you can see the media player of the music app here we have a CDH we call the iProtect which locks the applications using touch ID or your password so you can see here I locked my applications using touch ID so if I want to open it simply put your finger on the touch ID and it will be opened just like that next we have delete forever which allows you to permanently delete an application instead of having it in the recently deleted photo as you can see so if I want to delete an application for example this one this one you can see here you have two options to either delete the photo to have it on the recently deleted album or or remove it permanently so so I'm gonna choose multiple photos here and I'm gonna delete them permanently and you can see here you will not see them in the deleted album next we have peekaboo which enables the 3d touch functionality on all the devices so you can see here I have an iPhone SE and with peekaboo I can use the 3d touch as you can see in my device I can have it on any application that supports 3d touch as you can see and here in the phone app so you can see the blur is replaced with a, a transparent effect as you can see is because of a tweak called ghosty which removes the blur and replaces it with a subtle fade or transparency another 3d touch tweak and called 3d to clear all notifications which allows you to clear all notifications with 3d touch so as you can see here you can tap and hold on the close box to clear all notifications on your notification center so tap and hold you will get this sheet or option to clear all notifications so we're gonna tap it and you will get all your notifications removed next we have tiny player which is a music widget that you can move it anywhere you want in the screen from in the applications and if you want to switch between music tap and hold on the play here to display the controllers as you can see you can switch between music pause or play again the music and tap and hold again to hide it tap and hold to hide it and here you can see you can switch between dark mode or night mode by tapping on the widget and you can go to the light mode switch to the dark mode again and you can tap on the artwork to cue music so you can see here if i tap and hold here you get this page from the music app and you can tap here on the plus buttons to cue any song you want hortius adds a bounce effect when you open up your application so you can see here bounce effect and you can also customize the speed or you can customize the, the, the effect 
like its stiffness, dumping, the mass, the velocity, and here you can ani speed up the animation. So if I tap on 3 here, you can see the speed of the bounce gets too fast. Swipe Home allows you to kill all the applications in the background with one single swipe on the home card. So instead of going through each application and swiping up, all you have to do is swipe up on the card and all the applications will be removed. And if there is no application, you can respring your device by swiping up on the home card. Next we have a tweak for the city app called Swipe For More which adds more options in the unstyled section in the Cydia app so usually if you want to delete or queue an application you go to its main page and you tap here to delete it or to queue it with swipe for more you can swipe to the left to reveal this menu right here you can remove the the tweak right after you tap on this red button you can queue you can queue and close the queue page as you can see the last week in the list is called Dismiss Progress and it's also for the Cydia app. So usually when you delete an application, Cydia forces you to respring your device in order to use it again. So you can see here, a close button will be added in the upper right corner here. As you can see, it says close right there. It's because of the tweak Dismiss Progress. So you don't need to respring your device. All you have to do is tap on close and you can use your device again. So that's been it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't for new content. Thank you for watching, now we'll talk to you in the next one.